everybody, it's Owen from Owen Single Lab, and today I've got the toy and grocery shop. This is a three-in-one set. It turns into a toy and grocery shop, a post office, or a newsstand. Today I'm going to be building the post office because I need a post office. I think there's a creator post office that's like a regular modular building, but it's probably like a lot, so. But this will do for now. It doesn't have to be too complicated or anything. It just has to be a nice little thing. I'm talking too much. Yeah, let's get on with this. So I'm gonna build this set as a post office because I already have a newsstand. I have like a really tiny one that came with the bus station and the city set. And I can get another grocery shop because there's the Quickie Mart. I can replace the Simpsons characters with the regular characters if I want to. And I wanna get that set at some point. It has expired things and overpriced stuff and really bad hot dogs and um, arcade games and other stuff. I am going to get zit zit soon. I'm not sure when soon is, but soon. It's one of the many sets on my list. Do you want to go see my list? It's um, it's an entire book. No, you don't. I'm just gonna open this guy up. Oh wait, oh, it magically opened. This set comes with four unnumbered bags, two loose gray pieces, and three instruction booklets, one for each thing that you can make it into. As I said, I'm going to be making the post office. So I'll put these two to the side. I will show you a picture of the other two versions that you can make a little later after I build, but for now, it's gonna say it ship. All right, so now I've got everything laid out, and I'm gonna get building. So here I have the completed set. Here are the other versions of this set. We have the toy and grocery shop and the newsstand. And with the extra pieces, I made a little grocery store, but it's missing some pieces. So I'm gonna get some other pieces and then add it so it can have a roof and all that stuff. It's not too bad, is it? I'll show you this after I'm done showing you the post office. Look at each. Nom, 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 nom. The set comes with two minifigures. Here's the little boy. He's got a blue cap and some freckles, and he's got a nice big smile. He's got an astronaut shirt with green sleeves and little tiny blue pants. And then he comes with some binoculars, so that's the little boy. Here is the lady. She's got her reddish hair. One part of her hair is going over her shoulder, so she can't lift her arm as is the other one. She's got a purple scarf with a gray jacket. She's got some navy blue pants and two faces. Her regular smiling face and then she has her yee face. This is like kind of frowning. All right, so that was the lady. Here is the post office. You can open it up for easy play. There's a light up here and then there's a little box, but there's nothing in it. This door opens over here and then just goes back in. I've never really examined a post office before, so I can't really identify all this stuff. I don't know why there's a hundred dollar bill there. It looks like a cash register. And then it has one of those chutes where you put your letters and stuff in and then you like close it up and then it goes into a box and then blah blah blah. There are nine windows over here and then we have a door that opens over here then a couple red pieces to serve as like a little welcome mat or something. Over here we have a newspaper dispenser but there's nothing in there. Here's the other side. Over here we have some white and yellow flowers as well as a couple lights and then above the lights we have a little sign that has a letter on it. It's got a little stamp and everything. On this side, we have a red awning with a little light. And then next to the awning, we have an air vent. Below that, and in front of it as well, we have a little bench with a newspaper on it. And then there's a lamp post over here. And then we have some stairs that lead up to the top, which has a telescope and a little bird carrying a letter for some particular reason. <laughs> And then we have a little boy up there. He's just staring at something. I guess this is a lookout because it's got like a telescope. Here's the back. On this side, we have a couple of windows as well as a little yellow piece 
This is like the sides of the modular building sets. This isn't gonna be covered up because this is gonna be kind of isolated. But that's all right. This is, a, this is a little piece. All right, so that was the post office. Here's a little store that I made with the extra pieces that I had from the set. It may not look very good because I obviously don't have all the pieces that I want. I'll probably add to this so I can put it in the city so it's not looking really weird like it is now. We got a door up here with a light and then we've got some modern architectural detail here, nice and curved. Here's this side. I don't know why I made it like that because then I can't make like a window or anything there. Here's the back. It's just a bunch of windows, and then we've got a little treasure map there. So then we've got this side. This has got another door. Inside, I put in a scooter, a little newspaper that was left over, a camera with a record button, and then an apple and a banana in a little cooler thing. I was hoping that it would be flat enough so I could close it all the way, but it's still kind of open. Here's the scooter. Yeah, it's nothing fancy. Just got a handle over there, a couple of dumbbells as wheels. Here is the camera, there's a record feature, and then a picture feature, and then there's a silver button on the other side. And it doubles as a machine gun. <sighs> nah, I'm just kidding. All right, that was the little store that I made. All right guys, so that was the video. Tell me which building you would have built. Also, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time, bye.